Hello, what's happening folks? So I'm going to do a quick video and talk about how to assemble your drivetrain. Oh, well, a drivetrain uh, on Matrix 3 trucks. So this is a project that I'm working on. Um, th these will be running the Matrix 3 trucks with the uh, MBS XL bronze hubs and a pulley system in the rear end right that looks really really flipping sweet uh, these belts are also the new thane new style thane belts that radium are supplying um, so this is going to be a sweet sweet build 173 kv motors uh, 65t to 16t as well um, and you'll see that with the 65t pulley they're much smaller i notice on I run the 78T uh, rear end pulley, and you know if you catch a gutter on the wrong angle, it tends to clang. Uh, you won't have that issue with uh, this because it's um, a much smaller. So we're using radium motor mounts to hold everything together. Um, and the first thing I do prior to getting it to this assembly stage is do as much pre-work as possible. So all the bearings are in all the wheels. Um, you know, the pulleys, the spacers, everything's all preset. Um, Loctite on all the nuts and bolts, rub screws where possible as well, just to save you time later on. So you do all your Loctiting, you do all your pre-assembly the night before, and you come back and you, and you do your final assembly, right? Uh, I tend to break builds up into um, mini, mini builds, mini portions. Um, it just helps the overall process because there's, uh, it's really, it can be overwhelming if you have a lot of activities to do in one shot, right? So you want to break out uh, your building in small little elements, maybe do an, an hour on something a night and before you know it, you'll have a lot completed, right? So, so these are the um, radium motor mounts we're using. Uh, they're using... Uh, uh, the pulleys over there, and you'll notice that the wedge, it's, well, it's in there, it's in there loose, right? That's gonna allow me to slide this motor mount over the shaft of the Matrix 3 truck, like that. Um, the next step is to get the hub. So these hubs are, I had to leave in the sun, right, to heat up, and I'll put the bearings in the freezer and then I um, use a rubber mallet to put them in. Um, so there, uh, that's the next step to go on. You'll notice that I don't have wheels. I don't put the wheels on when I'm assembling these or aligning them up. It just makes it, makes it harder. Um, what I am not doing is I usually have a board set up hanging over the edge and I, and I do it um, on the board itself. But today I'm just winging it, doing it on the bench directly. So let's do up this nut. And no, I don't normally use an impact driver to tighten up my wheels. But for the sake of sparing everyone the, the torture of watching me screw something in. Ooh. Ow. Good, just a little bit loose, that's where we want it. Boom, 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 motor. Screws. I don't lock tight these until the end, right? So I always leave them loose. Well, not loose, but lock tight at the end. Let's put them there. Put that over there, okay. This is the tricky bit now. We're going to put a motor in like this. Zoop. Zoop. And then we look over the top. And drop a screw in. Should be wearing my glasses. All right, there you go. Screws there. 
you don't have to tighten that up all the way. Put this screw in. Nice and loose. Yeah, I'm not going to fast forward segments and stuff like that. You're going to witness me doing this all in one shot, right? So the motor can move back and forth. The motor mount can move up and down, right? See that? So now what we do is we're in a position where we can get our belt. Oop. Slide that over the wheel. That's why we don't put the ties on there. And then we get this set up first under that pulley, over that motor pulley, and then this will work. Will work, should work. To use positive words, right? There you go, look at that. And that's spinning, right? So now we're in a position where everything's loose, but visually we can spin the motor and we can see whether this motor mount needs to go in a little bit more or come out a little bit more, right? So now it's just a matter of, well, actually, even before I do that, geez, I forgot. We should tighten the motor in place, but we only need to do it for one screw. Right, so that gives us some tension on that belt. Right, so now that's good. We spin it and we see, oh geez, does that look good? Is the belt, um, you shouldn't have any belt hanging over the pulley. It should be sitting uh, and engaged uh, roughly in the center. It might be a couple mil higher or lower, but it should be seated nicely. And we can see that it is. It's a good shot on my part. Um, so the, the really neat thing about these radium motor mounts is that um, once you're in this position, to get it tightened and locked in place, um, this is how easy it is, right? I put my uh, M5 T-bar in there and an eight millimeter um, open-ended spanner on the nut on the end, and I torque the wedge down. And spin that a few times. No Loctite is needed because it has a nylon, nylon nut. And you just want to get it to the point where you're just nipping it, right? It's not going to go out. That's it. You're done. That is solid. That's how easy it is to assemble the full rear end um, of a build, right? Nice, simple. We can spin that. Nah, I missed it. See, I got overhang. So that means I've got to undo and redo it. That sucks, but that's part and parcel of the build, right? Um, I think sometimes you think you've got it, but really, yeah. Um, and it might be to do, once you tighten it up, it tends to move a little. So I might have to lift it or move it more that way before I do the final tighten. So let's go. Let's do that again. Boom, boom, boom. All right. The stress of assemblies. All right, let's go. Boom. Trial and error, folks. Just be patient. Just because you don't get it right the first time. Doesn't mean you won't get it right the second. So that's in. 
Let's see that. Nailed it. All right. So you can see there, now that motor mount has been tightened up. So what's happened was it was a little lower, and when I've gone to torque it down, it's moved up a little bit, and that's what made the belt go over the uh, wheel pulley. But now you can see that it's perfect. It's, it's perfect on there, and that's working nicely. Right. That is super, super cool. That's the assembly. All done. Rear end assembly ready for the next phase of um, putting it all together. So I think I'm going to um, put the lock on those uh, uh, motors and call it a day. That's going to be ready to mount to the board once the board arrives. And um, actually, I might run the cables going straight under because it's going to be an undermount enclosure. But um, yeah, that's it. So just a quick vid on how I go about assembling the rear end um, using the uh, Matrix 3 trucks and radium motor mounts with these cool, cool, super cool wheels, right? So yeah, enjoy. That's it. It's all I got. I'm going.